here in Toastmasters. So it is time now to hear from our Lieutenant Governor of Education and Training, Emma Frost, to see what she has planned for us this year. Emma. Thank you, Bev. Bev is so excited about the upcoming year, as are Dorian and myself. Is anybody else in the room excited about the upcoming year? Okay, it is, what is it time to talk about now? Is that what I'm known for, contest? It is time to talk education and training. I am really excited about the upcoming year. It has been a long year of hard work for me as marketing. I've really enjoyed it. I've had such good fun, and now I'm looking to switch my focus onto education and training. My goal this year is to provide you with as many opportunities as you need to shine your light and take on leadership roles and just to be a star for the district. The first thing that I want to talk to you about is the fact that this remote control isn't working. Okay, the first thing that I want to talk to you about is some of the key events that are happening in, in the year. The district is going to be having a different type of calendar this year. We're having a downloadable PDF that will be available on the district website. It will be kept up to date. So if ever you need to know when a date is, you can just go to the district website download this calendar and it will be up to date within the week so whenever changes are made they will be made immediately the first thing you need to know about is the fall rally on september the 8th now we do this every year but this year is slightly different because it's the 30th anniversary of the fall rally so we're going to be having a very special celebration for that i, I haven't got the location from the chair yet but she assures me it's going to be in a very very exciting place there will be opportunities for educationals during that session. So if you are looking to run an educational for your uh, Advanced Leader Silver or your Advanced Communicator Gold, please get in touch with Joanne McDowell. She would love to hear from you. The second event you need to know about is another extremely exciting event, and that is our fall conference on November the 16th and 17th. Dakla Rathayad is chairing this. She too would love to hear from you if you want to shine your light at the fall conference and run an educational. There is going to be a very exciting bling banquet on the Saturday night. If you want to know, if you want to potentially see your trio in ball gowns, you're going to have to be at that convention banquet. Now I say potentially, and Bev keeps giving me dagger looks because she doesn't want to put a ball gown on. And I, I'm thinking that there might be something, that, a challenge that we can put out to the district, that if they meet this, that we'll all wear ball gowns, and, and Bev is now passing out with fear. Okay, so then we have TLI training. We've tentatively booked it for January the 26th, but that may change. If it does, we will immediately let you know. And the spring convention is May the 3rd and the 4th. Jane Hebden is running the spring convention. Once again, if you are looking for an opportunity to take on an, a larger educational project from the Advanced Leader Silver or the Advanced Communicator Gold Series, please get in touch with Jane lots of opportunities to shine in the district. What else do we have going on? Well, of course, we're Toastmasters. We love to talk. So we're having contests, speech contests. Once again this year, we're running the evaluation and humorous speech contest in the fall, and then table topics in the international speech contest in the spring. The evaluation contest is a lot of fun, and it's a huge advantage. It, to the district because what it did last year was it really raised the level of evaluations in clubs. It was noticeable how much better people were beginning to evaluate. And the same goes for table topics. And you might be thinking, ah, oh, no, not four contests again. But table topics allows people who've been a Toastmaster for five minutes to compete, to get up there on the stage and, and show us how good they are, right? But more than that, how many of you have got to the back of your competent leadership manual? How many? Hands up. How many have you, uh, of you have looked and seen that one of the things that you need to do is chair a contest? Or organize a contest? See how generous I am? I'm giving you eight opportunities 
to shine in your club and organize contests. Oh, a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so generous. So please don't look at this as an, oh no, we've got to organize four contests. Look at this as eight opportunities to shine, to show your leadership skills and to just have so much fun because that's, that's one of the things that we're really here for is the fun. Everybody is working towards an educational program. So one of the things that we want to do this year is recognize people who are moving forward in their program. We are going to be giving a, a manual. So every month there's going to be a draw for all the people who achieved a common communicator, an advanced communicator, or a distinguished Toastmaster through the year. We will draw names out of a hat and they will win a manual of their choice from the bookstore. So that's going to be 12 opportunities for you to win a significant prize, right? Because those manuals, they're pretty pricey these days. Eight bucks, woo. Now, the other thing is that one lucky person from each educational award will be drawn out of the hat to win a free breakfast with the champion. And Lance Miller, who was the champion in a while ago, <laughs> I should know this, it was the year I got married to, to Real Isaac. 2005. Thank you, Peter. Were you best man at the wedding? I don't remember. <laughs> so in 2005, Lance Miller won the International Speech Contest, the World Champion of Public Speaking. He's an awesome guy. He is so nice. He is so helpful. He is just a wonderful, wonderful speaker. He's going to be joining us for our spring convention, and there will be a breakfast with the champion. So you, if you get your name pulled out of a hat because you got a competent communicator or an advanced communicator or a dist distinguished Toastmaster this year, or the leadership, the advanced leaderships, then you will get a free breakfast with Lance. With, with it won't just be you and him, there'll be about 30 other people, but you know what, it'll still be good. How many of you this year got a triple crown? Is that all? Whoa, okay. We need to give you more incentive to get a triple crown. Last year, triple crown winners got an opportunity to have breakfast with Michael Nataro. This year, we have decided you need a little bit more incentive. So everybody who gets a triple crown, that is three educationals, will get a pin. And this is the pin. Isn't it beautiful? Beautiful. Yeah. Come on, people. Excitement, excitement. You will get a pin, right? A crowning. Oh, it's, it's gorgeous. I, I designed it and I just sat there and I was so stunned I looked at it for two hours. Anyway, three educationals. If you get your name on the Toastmasters International website for getting a triple crown, you will get a pin at any time in the 12 months of the year. In addition to that, if you get three different educationals, then your name will be entered into a draw for Breakfast with the Champion. Now, three different means you cannot get two competent communicators and a competent leader. You can get one competent communicator, a competent leader, and an advanced communicator, and then you get your name in the draw. So it's a little bit different from last year where we said, that it had to be three uh, three things and one of them had to be a leadership award. Okay, So just to be aware. Now, at the back of the room is Catherine Keller. She is the incoming division, the division governor. She's also got some flyers. She's going to put them out at the back and the information is all on there. So what else are we doing this year? What have we been doing the last couple of years that people have been really excited about? Have a clue, look at the screen. Talking to Turkey. Looks like a ball gown. <laughs> it does look like a ball gown, yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Not sure about the top, but though. <laughs> we are once again running the Talking Turkey contest. A little bit different this year because we like to shake things up a little bit. So, the first thing that you have to do in order to qualify for the Talking Turkey contest is get your officer list submitted by July the 1st. And Bev already mentioned this because we need it for the district roster, but now you've got to get it done because otherwise you can't get a turkey. The next thing that you have to do is get at least four of your club officers trained in the summer period. So that's this week and then there'll be some more training sessions coming up and we'll be letting you know when those are. So if you know you're the only officer in your club that's yet been trained, please go back and phone the other officers and say, oh my god, you've got to get trained. The next thing that you have to do is you have to submit your club success plan to me before September the 15th. 
Now, you don't have to worry about writing all this down. I see people sitting up and going, ooh, we're going to take notes. Because on the back of the Triple Crown handout is all the information you need for Talking Turkey. So you need to get your club success plan submitted to me. There will be an online submission form. As a new executive, you should be building your club success plan in the next couple of weeks, really, because you want to start the year off on the right foot. But I know that some clubs have quit for the summer. That's why we said September the 15th. The next thing you have to do is submit your club dues before October the 1st. So that doesn't mean on October the 1st. That means before October the 1st. Then, once you've got all those things, which are normal parts of your club year anyway, if you get the following submitted to Toastmasters International by midnight on November the 30th of this year, that is two competent communicators, one advanced communicator, one competent leader or advanced leader or distinguished Toastmaster, and four new members into your club, you will get a turkey. It'll be roasted, it'll be with dressing and gravy, and it will be delivered to your club's Christmas wrap-up or New Year celebration, your choice. How many people think they can do that? Sure. Come on. I, I'm not cooking the turkey, if that helps with the incentive. Okay. Anybody notice what's interesting about this? Can anybody tell me what this is? This is halfway to your DCP of 10 points for presidents distinguished. We have a double whammy on this, because not only will your club get a scrumptious, delicious turkey, you're also already halfway to distinguished status. What more could you want? An opportunity for your club to shine and enjoy all that turkey. 